All right, so I've been trying to get the uh, serial port to work, and uh, so I have a uh, uh, serial connection on the um, on the board now. Uh, one of the USB to RS two three two connect uh, converters, and uh, I've put a, a scope probe on the um, baud rate clock that comes out of the eighty two fifty three. I've decided to go ahead and run it at 16 times, so if I want 9600 baud, I need uh, 9600 times 16, which is 153.6 kilohertz. So I have a, a scope probe on there, and I have that running into my frequency counter, so I get 153.47, so close enough. Um, and... Um, the um, board, I had troubles trying, so I first tried to get uh, data out, um, and I just couldn't get it to work. Um, so I decided to try data in. Um, and uh, let, me, uh, let me show you the program uh, that I have so far, and uh, we'll give it a try. Okay, here's my program. Um, we first need to define the memory. Um, I have four ROM slots, and here's where they live. I have uh, a bank of RAM. It's at B0 through BFFF. Um, so ROM sits at 0, RAM sits at B. At the top of the RAM is at BFFFF. Um, I'm going to define some global constants, character turn line feed, comma, these are ASCII values. All right, remember our LED is at address D6. That's that LED with the monostable. Uh, it gives a flash every time you address D6. We have our 8253 ports, uh, three counters and one status register, command register. Uh, the baud rate for 9600, we're going to use the value 7 as the countdown, and that will give us a square wave of value 153.6 kilohertz, which is 16 times the baud rate we want. Uh, we're going to be using counter 2, mode 3, which is outputting a square wave. There's, I think, five modes, and uh, mode 3 is just output a square wave, depending on what the count is. 8251 has two ports, um, a, a, a one port that's used as read-write, um, control, and status, and then another data um, address, which is in and out. Uh, there's some flags, uh, use these for masking, uh, a transmit flag, a ready flag. Uh, we're going to be setting a mode, uh, which is one stop bit, no parity, 8 bits data, and 16 times clock. And there's some initialization bits we need to send. There's two parallel ports. All right, so let's uh, in a, initialize our uh, part or our program. Um, we're going to disable interrupts. We're going to set the, st the uh, these two lines set the uh, stack pointer. We're going to locate it up at the top of RAM and move it down about 64. It'll leave us some room at the top for red for um, of variables or something like that. Uh, we're going to set up the parallel ports. Uh, parallel port 1 we'll set for all outputs. Parallel 2 uh, we'll set for all inputs. We're going to set up the timer for uh, mode 3, 9600 baud. Um, we're going to set up the UART. Um, I have a lot of uh, most of the programs you'll see for setting up an 8251 only just has, you send it a, a mode and then a control and that's it. Um, but the data sheet actually says the part might wake up funny and they recommend doing this. They recommend sending three zeros and then four zero, which is reset, a software reset instruction. And that just guarantees that it wakes up correctly. So I just go went ahead and use, use their advice and put it in. So here's our main loop. Um, the very first thing it does is do a 256 count. This is left over from my old program. I just didn't delete it. So I'm going to decrement B, decrement C, go around, round, and round. I'm going to increment D. Uh, 
So I've changed a little bit. So every time it goes around 256 times, it's going to increment the deregister and then uh, move that into the A and then output it on the parallel port. So I want to I want to actually count up and um, the um, LEDs are actually low true. If you put a zero in, they light up. So you need to complement them before you output them. That's much like the the MSI. Remember the MSI I had to the uh, FF port, I had to complement the LEDs before I output them. Same thing here. Uh, so complement and output. Uh, ignore these three lines. This is, I'm trying to get my output serial to work, but I couldn't. So I concentrated on input. So here, here's actually the real loop after you get done with this little fake thing up here. Um, here's the main loop. It's going to get a character and then display it and then go around and around and around. Get a character and display it. Go around and around and around. Um, so let's take a look at CN and show. Um, CN uh, is read the status register, wait for a character. Um, it'll be on the ready bit and jump to CN. So you're going to stay in this loop until there's an actual character there for you. If there is a character, then it'll drop out. And then you can read the character by inputting from the CN uh, address and then return. So now the A register has the contents of the uh, whatever you typed in. And then we're going to show. Show is just, again, complement the data and output it to the parallel port. But complementing the data ruins the A register. So I went ahead and pushed the A register and then popped the A register when I was done. PSW is the A register and the status flags. It's, it's 16 bits, but it's called PSW. So. Push the A register, pop the A register. I might be able to do complement A output and then complement A again. Uh, I haven't tried that, but that, that might work. And then if I ever do get the thing to work, here's a little routine that will output a string. Um, so here's the string it would output. Uh, uh, character turn line feed Intel, blah, 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 blah. Um, and uh, so the sign on has the string that's going to be sent out. And then this is a is a trick that says take take where you are, which is dollar sign, and then subtract where this starts, and that will give you the length of the message. So um, you have a string followed by a byte that is the um, length of the message. So it's going to use the string in the H and L registers, and it's going to use the the length of the string uh, in the B register. So it's going to output the data until it uh, gets to, uh, it decrements B each time. And, and when you get to zero, uh, it's going to pop out of this routine. So um, yeah, there should be a jump, not zero, should be a return here. Um, oh, this is the, uh, anyway, I'll have to fix that. There should be a return after here. Um, I'll fix that once I get to using it. All right, let's uh, let's go over to the machine and see if it actually works. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, at the uh, parallel port here, and so remember my program uh, uh, waits for a character on the RS two thirty two, and then if it sees a character, then it'll display it here. So I've hit the A key. Uh, we get a uh, a bit pattern. The B key should be one more. So B should like count, right? B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So uh, it's working just fine. So it's it it's not doing anything until it sees a new key, and then it uh, displays. So our uh, input is working fine. Our output still doesn't output anything yet. I have some suspicions that maybe the uh, hardware handshaking has been turned on and it's waiting for a hardware handshake before it will allow uh, the data to come out, some type of data ready signal. So we'll work on that next and uh, hopefully get the uh, transmit working.